Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play The Lion King. This time, we are finally going to kill these stupid hyenas. I was a complete retard last time, so of course I was doing it the wrong way. However, I would like you guys to know that killing these hyenas is not completely mandatory. You can actually just jump down there and move on to the next area at the risk of having a hyena fall on your head. Obviously, I didn't want to do that. Ah, die, buzzard! Go to hell. As you can see, you want to hit those on the way up, because it is a lot easier to do that than to wait for them to swoop. Free life, and there's a continue down there, but you know what? I'm not bothering with it. I just want to get through these levels as quickly as I can. As you can see, we're actually on top of the skull from the beginning of the level, but we do not want to go back down there, because that will cause major backtracking. Oh, interesting thing about this area. You want to beat these two at about the same time. You know why? <sighs> You'll see what happens when I beat one. Ouch. And when Simba gets half dead. Yeah, that's right. The game drops another one on you. Isn't that lovely? And we only have one point of health left. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be close. Die. <laughs> we beat you. We beat you. Uh-huh. 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 Woo! Alrighty. And you know, want to know what this slope here is? It's the end of the level! So we finally get to move on! Yay! And we have Scar looking at it over us. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, we are going to be playing Bug Toss again. Unfortunately, I have a feeling Timon's going to be evil in this. Yup. He does start doing that now. Dropping one bug that drops at a different speed on one side of the screen. Then a bug that he will drop on the other side of the screen. But enough of bug toss. We are going to be watching the single coolest ouch level in the whole game. Doesn't the 3D blow your mind? It should because this is on the freaking Super Nintendo. This is completely revolutionary as far as it goes. This is the sweetest level in the whole game. And like, the patterns are easy now, but it does become more erratic later, so take note of this. You should also be taking note of this video because the patterns do not change from each run of this level. It is almost the exact same every time. Which you should be thankful for, because that makes it a hell of a lot easier. And about those rocks, they will blink four times before you have to jump over them. Take note of that, because otherwise you will end up tripping over them and end up killing Simba. Or the easiest way to dodge the rocks would be to just plain stay out of the way. As you can tell though, the war gouge is gone. It is not gone forever, people. It is just gone for this level because when is Simba going to roar, really? It's completely useless to him here. But yeah, for the later part of the level, there is going to be a side where you will want to hug. Kill him. Oh, lovely. We're going to have the hyenas trying to kill us. Thankfully, it's not chasing us through this level, but the level still gives you a sign of urgency. You want to know why? You have the hyenas dropping rocks on you. You will get to see signs of this later. As Yeah, that. And those hurt Simba. We meet a couple of old enemies from the first level, though. That's nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was close. Seriously, the only way you are going to get through that without getting crushed by the boulder, which is actually instant death, is to use your roll attack. Here, you just run for your life. Don't even bother with rolling or anything, otherwise you will die. Ow. Lesser of two evils is falling into brambles as opposed to getting crushed by a boulder. Because, as I've already said, Boulder is instant death. And as I've also said in previous videos, I suck at jumping! Whee! This is probably... This is actually the level where I got stuck as a kid, because I just could not get past it. So, after this level, I'm pretty much going to be playing blind. I might have a test play or two, but I'm going to be playing blind, people. So, please forgive the complete noobiness if I miss a secret. I will probably make a video later showing all of the secrets. Including the secrets of this level, which I have missed. Bye, porcupines. Uh-oh. Ow! Spiny foot. Ouch! On the bright side, we're not cactus, but like, who is it? Bonsai. Yeah, bonsai. But here, it is a lot of jumping, so you have got to be extremely careful because one wrong move and you're dead. Because below is not a patch of brambles, but an actual pit. The only pit of this level. Oh, but we got through it just fine. We're at the end already. If you ever come back, we'll kill ya! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, this is a fairly short vid because... Well, look how much I got done. Anyway, this is Rizu Komesu signing off. Adios, see you next time. And happy holidays for those of you who are celebrating. 
doing on you if you're not, because at least spend some time with your family, people, even if you don't believe in the holidays. Later.